Letterkenny, County Donegal, is a boom town. After dozing through the 1960s, it came to life during the past decade. The new training hospital, regional technical college and ankle training centre attract hundreds of newcomers every year. Hardly a week goes by without a new business premises opening up or expanding. Naturally, property is at a premium here, and for young couples seeking a first home, the headaches are as severe as those experienced by house hunters in much larger towns and cities. 34 couples thought their problems were over when the Urban District Council gave them sites here in 1981, but their optimism was short-lived. Geraldine Durning and her husband began building... At the time, their council loan hadn't come through, but they carried on using bridging finance. And then they discovered the council couldn't give them proper title to the land. There's no deed to the house. Even though the Urban District Council gave you the site? They allocated us that site. We paid a thousand pound deposit on the site. They tell us now that we shouldn't have started building, but when we did pay the, the deposit and started building, there wasn't one to tell us. When this problem arose, they started creating more problems for us. We are paying bridging loan now and we're also paying rent. The, the house at the moment is at a standstill this past five weeks and we're no further on than when we were when we started. In fact, we're more in debt now than when we started. That's the case of the nine couples who couldn't actually get title to their sites. But there are other disgruntled parties. Well, the whole thing seems to be haywire. Uh, people can build any kind of a house that they want to. And when I submitted my plans to the county council, uh, I was told that I had to leave 20 feet at the back of the house. When I asked the man in particular what the 20 feet was left for, he said, if we make one mistake, we don't have to make 30. Uh, one particular applicant uh, just behind me here had um, a letter from the council solicitor a fortnight ago informing him that uh, he hadn't been allocated the site at all. Um, and the planning application and his loan application obviously had to go through the council solicitor. And they were granted? Oh, they were granted, yeah. Uh, they were granted in so far as that they, he's now at roof level. So what's your um, attitude to how the, cons the council is handling this whole affair? Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, questions to be answered by the officials, which haven't been. I have tried to arrange on a couple of occasions uh, meetings between these people. The manager has informed me that uh, he would, at various stages, organise these meetings, but uh, they didn't materialise. Letterkenny Urban District Council is being severely criticised for its attitude to the residents' problems. Its town clerk is Sean Sheridan. I think a great deal of this has been blown up out of all proportion. Um, the number of problems really have been small in comparison to the, the number of things that have gone right, if you like. Uh, the concentration, uh, as always, of course, is on those things that go wrong. Well, if you were in the position of a person who is waiting for a loan to come through and can't get it because there's a difficulty over planning permission, how would you respond? Well, you know, the difficulties as regards planning permission, again, have only affected one or two uh, individual cases. There have been no problems in 95% of the cases. Now, we're not in the business of creating difficulties as such, but we have to attempt to resolve these problems in the common good. Now, individuals may not always see it that way, but that's what we're attempting to do.